We have the round one injury update for the season of 2024. And starting us off, we have Josh Gibkiss. I'm sure everyone's seen this one, but ooh, he's done his knee. He's going to be out for the season. They're not sure what exactly he's done, but it didn't look good. Absolutely dislocated it and fell very, very awkwardly. And that's his season done. Show a few more replays here. It's just not a very nice injury. It's probably one of the worst knees I've seen in a while. And it's not good for him either because he missed all of last season pretty much. And he's going to be missing this season as well. So he got stretched off and that was him done. Aside from that, in this game, we have Tyler Young getting subbed out with a concussion as well. He will miss two weeks at least with that concussion protocol. And then it's just Dion Pressier who's done another soft tissue injury. Who would have thought? Pressier's done his hamstring, so that's at least three to four for him. So that was all the injuries that we had for the Carlton and Tigers game. Moving on to the Giants and North, we have Josh Goda doing his Achilles, and he will be out for the season as well. And the Achilles, the Achilles tear is just... It's a gross one. I hate seeing it. He didn't have to get you stretched it off in the end, but oh, you just see it go. There wasn't even anyone on him. And oh, gross. That is not a nice injury to have. And I'm tipping that to be his season as well. But you never know. Maybe he's got a miraculous Achilles tendon and it'll come back. But that's him done for at least a big, big chunk of the year. Moving on, we have Liam Stocker's done his back in this pretty controversial injury here. I don't, I don't know if that's a free kick. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. But Liam Stocker had to be taken out of the game for this. He, his back was no good. But he actually gave away a free kick to Danger, which is... I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it at all. He's been injured, and it's for the below-the-legs rule, which got brought in a few years back to, um, you know... Make sure we weren't doing making people do ACLs. But I feel like Stocker got the ball in this situation. There's about to be a replay. Yeah, I feel like he's tapped the ball on. He's got to the ball first. And Danger's just coming in like a crazy man. And need him in the back. I don't know how that's a free kick to Danger. He was given a shot on goal. But that was the only injuries for that game. For the Gold Coast Adelaide game. Luke Pedler and Jordan Butts had injuries. Luke Pedler did his nose. And Jordan Butts did his foot. I can't get video of either of them, so I'll just show you a video of Jared Witts getting absolutely clocked in the face with one of the best Falcons I've ever seen. That is one of the best Falcons I've ever seen. So he might have a broken nose, along with Luke Pedler. But that was it for that game. And then we have Jed McEntee for the Port and West Coast game. He got absolutely clocked by Bailey Williams. He'll be out for at least a few weeks with the concussion protocol. Big hit. From the from the uh, the West Coast Ruckman, he's absolutely cleaned him up, and it took him ages to get up actually. Oh, it's, he's folded back on himself and yeah, absolutely concussed. So he'll be out for at least a few weeks, I would imagine. Then when we move to the Frio and Brisbane game, Carl Warner got absolutely cleaned up, and he got he actually got knocked out, and he didn't get up for a very long time. Had to be stretched off. We'll see the knock here in a minute, but you can see he like didn't move for ages. Was just completely gone. He just bumped into McCarthy, going for a mark. McCarthy actually marked the ball, which was a, a great mark. But Warner had to be stretched off. I'm tipping it'd be a, a bit more than the standard two-week concussion rule. Apart from that, there was another gross one. Oscar McDonald. He's worked hard for his third club, and he has done his knee. I feel bad for him. His knee, uh, this is a really gross replay, so be warned. He hyperextends it real bad. Um, unsure how long he's going to be out, but I would say it'd be at least a few weeks. Maybe the season, depending on how bad it is. We all know knees are really hit and miss, so oh, it looked really bad. I, I'm hoping for the best, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's out for the whole year, because that is gross. That is really gross. So he had to be helped off. Didn't get the stretcher, which was good. Able to walk it off. So maybe a bit of hope, but I doubt it. And the carnage didn't stop there as well for Frio. They also lost Brennan Cox in this game. He did his hamstring. He'll be out for at least four weeks, you would think. He's done them before, so maybe even take him a bit longer. Just hyperextends his leg here being pushed over. And yeah, ouch. That's his hamstring absolutely done. 
I don't know how Freo ended up winning this game. You can see that there was still 15 minutes left in the game, and they only had one rotation after this, I think. But that was the Freo and Brisbane game. And that is it for all of the injuries for round one in the 2024 AFL season. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe. And let me know your thoughts down below in the comments on how round one went. Let me know how your team went and what you think about round zero and round one. I think it's a bit unfair that teams from round zero get to play again and they get a bit of a head start. But that is a discussion for next year. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.